the previous video we have discussed CSMA with collision detection but in collision detection we were able to detect because of the measurement of energy levels so if it, it was zero the channel was considered idle norm, normal when a single frame has been sent is going on and abnormal during collision so this approach is okay when we have wired connection but what happens in wireless a lot of energy is lost so in wireless medium lots of energies lost so this our energy sensing approach will not work in wireless medium so to solve this we were first detecting collision now we will try to avoid it csma with collision avoidance so what is collision avoidance that it follows three strategies to avoid the collision the first one is enter frame space what this is is when when a channel is found idle it waits for a period of time time the period of time is called ifs that is this enter frame space because what this does is if uh, say this channel finds the medium idle and it thinks that yeah the medium is idle so i can send but maybe another channel has already sent its packet so this time allows it to reach this station so that's why it helps in preventing it and so yeah if a farther channel has sent station has sent it allows to reach with the help of this ifs so if the station is found idle after this waiting time that is after ifs time if the station is still idle then it also waits for a time equal to contention window waits for a time equal to contention window we will see contention window in a minute so this method as well as preventing from collision also helps in prioritizing the station that is the station with smaller ifs has higher priority so this is the first strategy the second one as is this one contention window
what happens in this one is the time is divided into slots into slots and when a station is ready to send ready to send that is after this IFS time it chooses a random number of slots number of slots as wait time the numbers of slots are according to that binomial back of procedure that number of slots increases like 2 then 4 then what 16 8 32 in this manner the choosing of slots so this is the second method so let's again focus on this the station waits for some IFS time when it finds the channel idle if the chan channel is idle still there it waits for some random slots that is the contention window before sending its data and the third one is obviously acknowledgement <clears throat> after all this we still require require acknowledgement at the collision can still occur we can't prevent it totally so timer and positive acknowledgement Acknowledgement is required to so with this video we have seen finally we have covered all the methods in the random access methods that what that was pure aloha then slotted aloha then CSMA career sense multiple access then this carrier sense with collision detection and now this avoidance so these are all the method in the random access category okay so see you next time